Hi everyone, we're going to take a quick look at some of the differences between the original version of Fiddler, which I'll be calling Fiddler Classic, and the new cross-platform version of Fiddler, known as Fiddler Everywhere. Now two quick disclaimers. One is that the UI you see in Fiddler Everywhere is actively changing. What you see in this video might not be exactly what you see in your exact version. The other is that Fiddler Classic isn't going anywhere. Now many of you are already familiar with Fiddler's Traffic Inspector. I can see all of the network traffic going into and out of my Windows PC. I can inspect the details here. I can even filter and save sessions for sharing later. The list goes on and on. Now what does this look like in Fiddler Everywhere? Well, we've got the same general UI you've come to expect. We have our list of network traffic over on the left and the ability to inspect it here on the right with a few different tabs. More importantly though is we've improved on the filtering options and we even allow you to share sessions with other teammates. I can also still save sessions for a later time and replay them as needed. Next up is probably my favorite feature of Fiddler Classic and that is the autoresponder. So in this case what I can do is I can paste in a URL so I can say anytime we're trying to hit this catfax API, we're going to return a custom response. In our case, I want to see what happens when catfax is unreachable. And in Fiddler Everywhere, autoresponder exists on the right panel as well, but there's a brand new UI that you can use to create your rule sets. So in our case, let's say I wanted to test out matching all of my images or all my strings ending with JPEG, and maybe I want to delay the return of those so I can easily test out what happens if my images from my CDN are delayed with my app. And of course, you can customize these rules to no end with regex. Finally, let's take a look at the API Composer. Now we've all used tools like Postman, which is a great focus tool for inspecting APIs. However, there are plenty of times when I'm in Fiddler and I don't want to open another tool. That's where the API Composer comes in. So with my catfax, I can execute that get request and I can take a look at my session here and I can inspect the result returned. So it turns out that kangaroos can't hop backwards. Not really a cat fact, but okay. Now let's take a look at this in Fiddler Everywhere. Now our API Composer in Fiddler Everywhere has really been fleshed out here. So you can see a much more intuitive, friendly interface. So in my case, I can execute this get request and I can browse through and I want to go through and inspect the JSON. And there we see our returned results. Thanks for watching.